welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to always come and give you guys gist. Guys, I want to say a very big thank you for being a very um, faithful subscriber, for helping me grow this YouTube channel. I thank you guys so much and God bless you. And uh, if you're a new subscriber, kindly feel at home, feel free, go to my community tab, leave something there, you can communicate with me, you can communicate with my other subscribers. We talk about a lot of interesting topic on this channel. So stay tuned and go nowhere. See you when I'm back. To this community to this home guys I am excited to be here so guys today's topic we'll be talking about competition yes competition among ladies among women among mothers yes I said among our mothers in fact our mothers are the one who taught us how to compete among ourselves why did I say this I remember growing up, my mom is always saying um, things like, Oh, I'll be going to a meeting and I wouldn't want to go there and I'll not be the only one who will dress up, I'll not be the only one who will wear that judge, I'll not be the only one who will wear that lace. You know, sometimes our mothers push us, the children, to go and do things that we're not supposed to do. Why? Just for them to have that cloth. Hmm? to look good in their meeting when they're going to meeting they want to be the one to stand out they want to be the one who is dressing properly more than their mates they'll go to meetings they'll be looking at their friend's leg they'll be looking at the judge their friend is tying they'll be looking at the shoes the bag their friend is carrying so it started from our mothers now we the children we are doing it we the young ladies we are competing among ourselves guys like seriously why are we competing among ourselves as ladies? Why? Why are we putting ourselves into pressure? Why do you want to do what your friend is doing as a lady, as a young single lady, when you're supposed to invest your time doing something fruitful for yourself? When you choose to compete, do you know what you're doing to yourself? You're pushing yourself into depression. You're pushing yourself into debt. That's what competition does to you because your friend is wearing straight bone hair you two want to go and buy your own and probably maybe don't have the money that's why you now see young girls prostituting doing things they're not supposed to do saving money just to buy hair because their fellow friends are wearing it why? some of our wives are competing comp against themselves like okay on sundays hmm, now my friend she wore so so clothes she carries so so bag she ties so so air tie so this sunday hmm, i'll be the one to show her pepe i'll show her pepe then you now be putting your husband under unnecessary pressure to give you money you're pushing the poor man into debt you're pushing the poor man to do what he did not budget for, all because of your competition. Then when your husband did not give you the money, it becomes trouble. Now you guys don't have peace anymore. If you're around me, if you if you know me personally, if you're around me, see if like wear a good of ten million naira, it doesn't freak me. I wear what I have. I wear what I have, even if I have millions of money in my account and I don't feel like wearing something or like or I feel it doesn't impact me in any way. I don't buy it and waste my money and put myself under pressure. I'd rather invest in my money or buy something that I know tomorrow if I'm in trouble or I need money I can sell and get back my money. So I don't know why ladies, I don't know why we do that. I don't know why we do that actually. You see mothers telling their children, is that not your mates? Come and see what your mate is doing. Your mate has built house in the village you know, for their mother. Your mate has bought car for their mother. And you're coming home this December. What have you achieved? Why, mothers? Why do you do that to your children? Most especially to your male child. Pushing your male child 
to go into robbery or to go into ritual. Because when you pressurize your son, comparing your son to another woman's son, do you know what you're doing to your son? You're pushing him into depression and you're pushing him into committing suicide. Yes, because their destinies are different. And probably he's trying everything he can, but it's not working out for him yet. Then you, the mother, you're supposed to encourage him, tell him not to worry, his time will come. But no, you're the one pushing him into depression, into stealing, into going into ritual. Then when this is coming home, he's coming home with fleas of cars because he wants to go and impress his mom. But you don't know where he got his money from. Why do we do that? Why? Oh, my friend's skin is popping. She's using cream of 150k. Oh, I'm going to use cream of 3k. Seriously, guys. Don't you have better things to do with your time, your thinking, your money? Why do we push our husbands into borrowing money to buy a car? Buying a car is not an asset. So you pushing your husband and telling your husband, no, oh, my friend has a car, my friend husband has a car. I need to come and see the car my friend husband brought her to the office with. I need to come and see the house my friend husband has built. Pushing that poor man into depression. Now, before you know, the guy is thinking of collecting a loan from the bank to buy a car. The guy is thinking of collecting a loan to buy a land. The guy is thinking of collecting a loan to fly you abroad because your friend is flying abroad. Oh, this summer, my friend is going abroad with his, with her children. So now, you're pressurizing your husband because you want to go to abroad with your kids because your friend did. So they don't abuse you. Come on, guys. No, seriously. It's high time we stop competing with ourselves and be content with what we have and wait for our own time. When you wait for your own time and make your money the right way, you're going to enjoy your wealth. Um, just be patient, be yourself, stop competing with yourself, don't give yourself unnecessary pressure, just be yourself, enjoy what you have. And with time, you will grow, and you grow past that your friend that has been going to Dubai, that has been going to America, that has been going to Paris, that have always won that thing that you wish you have. You can outgrow that person, that's life for you. So be patient, stop competing and you know. So I think um, I've come to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it and learned one or two things from it. So guys, um, see you in my next video.